Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I wanted to share some of my favorite pasta recipes. These are recipes that are gone. There's usually no leftovers. Everyone in the house eats it all up. So I hope you enjoy as well. And I also wanted to tell you thank you for everyone that has subscribed so far. It really means a lot to me and thank you so much for your support on my channel. For each recipe, I'll leave the ingredients below in the description box. And I also encourage you to save this video to a playlist so you can refer back to it later in case there's any steps you need to refer back to. This is the sausage and pasta recipe that I'm doing in the second part of the video and I'm starving, so I can't wait to sit down and eat it. Um, but also um, the video has a little bit of uh, camera angle changes. I am still trying to find out which camera is the best for filming and which point of view. And I had a rookie mistake where my camera battery actually died <laughs> for the second video. So thank you for bearing with me on all of the um, learning process when it comes to making these videos. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the first recipe. For this one, you'll need about two to three tablespoons olive oil, about a half an onion, two zucchini, I use chicken and apple sausage. This one is from Trader Joe's and it's pre-cooked. Salt, pepper, minced garlic, half a tablespoon butter, penne pasta, and Parmesan cheese. To start off, I add the olive oil to the pan and let that get up to about a medium high temperature. And then I go ahead and slice up the onion. Um, this can be as thin or as thick as you would like to leave it. It just all depends on your preference. And after slicing the onion, I go ahead and slice the zucchini so it's ready to go in once the onion gets softened and is sauteed for a couple of minutes. After the zucchini is added in, I go ahead and add a little bit of salt and pepper to season the vegetables, and then I start to slice up the chicken sausage. Once it's sliced, I go ahead and add it in so it can all start to cook evenly. During the cooking, the zucchini will release its moisture and the chicken will release juices and the combination of the two will create a really small amount of liquid for a thin sauce. And to help create more depth and richness of the flavor for this thin sauce, I go ahead and add in about a half a tablespoon of minced garlic as well as about a half a tablespoon of butter. Next, I like to add in a little bit of the grated Parmesan to the chicken and vegetables. This will help to kind of coat the meat and vegetables and also melt into the sauce. So the last step is to add in the penne pasta. You can either reserve some pasta water and drain it off completely, or you can go ahead and use a strainer and you'll get a little bit of pasta water with each scoop. This helps to contribute some starchy water to the sauce.
So that is it for this first recipe. It is really easy, really simple. It doesn't take very long. So something that's really easy to make on a weeknight. And this pairs really well with this watermelon wine that I picked up from Trader Joe's the other day. This next recipe is oreque de pasta with broccoli and tomato. You'll need about two to three tablespoons olive oil, half an onion, one pound sweet Italian sausage, one to two bundles of baby broccoli, one container of grape or cherry tomatoes, salt, pepper, cream, oreche de pasta, and Parmesan cheese. To start off this recipe, I pretty much do the same thing as the first recipe where I just heat up the olive oil in the pan and start to cut up and saute the onion. And then I move on to rinsing the broccoli and adding the sweet Italian sausage to the onion once it has softened and has been sauteing for a few minutes. I like to use this meat tool to break up the sausage into smaller pieces so it's not super chunky or difficult to work with in the recipe. While the sweet Italian sausage is sauteing, I like to go ahead and season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then the pasta water had come to a boil, so I salted it with a little bit of salt to the water first and then added the pasta in and cooked it according to the timing on the box. And moving back over to the sausage, it had browned almost completely through, so I went ahead and added in the crown part of the baby broccoli and sliced up some grape tomatoes in half and added the full bundle in. Once the broccoli had softened a little bit and the tomatoes were beginning to soften, I went ahead and added in about a half a tablespoon of minced garlic And then once everything was completely done in the saute pan, I went ahead and added in about a third of a container of this small container of whipping cream. I don't really measure it, I just kind of eyeball it to what looks right. And I like to do it in this step rather than adding it when the pasta is added in because you can eyeball it and you can always add more later, but you can't really take it away once it's added in and it's easier to kind of get a good measure at this stage. And then I go ahead and add in the orecete pasta, um, same method I did as the previous recipe where I used the strainer method. It really helps to get the right amount of starchy water. And then I go ahead and add in a lot of grated Parmesan to really coat everything thoroughly here. But that is it for this second recipe. It is so delicious. Both of these recipes are delicious and I think you'll really enjoy both of them. And I hope that you give them a try. They're really simple, but also just so flavorful. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll check you in my next video. Thanks, bye.